Hey guys, in today's video, I'm installing GMRS radios into my Jeeps. If you're new here, welcome to my channel, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Now, I normally use CB radios, but GMRS is not only better, it's the way everything is going nowadays. Chances are, if you're an off-roader, you're gonna want a GMRS radio. Now for the spooky Jeep, I've decided to go with the Midland MXT 275. The reason I went ahead and did that is because I really like how the main unit itself is kind of hidden and all the controls and display and everything is in the mic set. There's also a speaker in the mic set. That way I can tuck this underneath the dash and just have the mic that comes out. I don't have to have a lot of bulky things inside the cab area of the Jeep. Along with the radio, I've went ahead and ordered a ghost antenna. This is the, I believe it's a 3DB ghost antenna, as well as a hood mount. Now this here just kind of clips in and you can stick your antenna right on it. There's a lot of other mount options for these, but I think that this is gonna work great for my spooky Jeep here. If you do decide to order one of these radios, it's not necessary to order an antenna. It does come with an antenna already. It's this little guy here. It's magnetic. It sticks on really, really well. So you don't have to worry about it if you don't want to. But I like the idea of these. I like the way that they mount. And I don't want to have to run something like this up and over on top of my roof. Now for my TJ, I decided to go with the MXT 400. It's a 40 watt GMRS radio made by Midland. And I'm going to go with the 6dB antenna. The reason why I'm putting this in here is I already got a bunch of radios in here that it doesn't really matter how it looks on the inside, I'm not gonna lie. Also, it puts out over twice the wattage of the MTX 275. If you're interested in any of these items here, there are gonna be links for all of these items in the description below. Now, because the main head unit here is so small, you have a lot of options for where you can mount it. What I'm gonna do is mount it underneath here around the same area where my control unit for my remote start is. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull these panels off and find a good spot for this. So here's where I've decided I'm gonna mount the radio. I think it'll work out okay right here. When it lifts up, it all clears. Now I just need to drill through this metal piece and mount it and I'll give you guys a better look at it. All right, I'm gonna go get this mounted up on here and I'll be right back. All right, so I've got this all mounted. I'm gonna double check and make sure it clears. And then we're going to get started wiring. Look at that, perfect. So this antenna cable actually has a removable end on it. So it makes it a lot easier to drill a hole. You don't have to run this giant thing through the hole if you drill a hole through your firewall. So what I'm going to do is put a hole in my firewall. I've got a grommet on this that it can go through and we're going to run it on through. Now, where I'm gonna put it through is real high up here. I don't know how well you can see in this area, but just above where my hood latch release comes through is where I'm gonna run my cable. Stop. Keep going. All right, so now that we got that ran inside, we can go ahead and attach our clip to our hood. You wanna make sure that you leave enough cable loose that way it has some room to flex in here. So this one here comes with these little Allen screws and an Allen wrench, and it's just gonna sandwich on the hood. So we're gonna go ahead and run that right now and tighten it down. Now before you get and tighten down too far, it might be a good idea to close your hood a little bit just to make sure it'll actually clear. Now the 275 model does come with this plug that goes into like a cigarette lighter but I'm not gonna be using it, but I am gonna use this wire because it comes with an inline fuse. Now I'm gonna run a hot wire to the power distribution block or the bus bar that I installed when I did my remote start. This bus bar runs off my auxiliary battery, so in the event that my radio gets forgotten on, it's not gonna run my starter battery dead. 
All right, so the last thing we need to do is go ahead and screw on our antenna here, and then we'll get back in the cab. All right, so I got my power ran through, and I've got my antenna wire ran through. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it all together and slap it up here. Now on this microphone, it's got this ethernet port right here, or this ethernet jack, as well as this little dust cover for the USB plug. I'm gonna go ahead and plug those in real quick and then stick it up underneath the dash. We've also got our power wire here that we can go ahead and connect. Now there's not going to be any power to it yet because I have not connected the ground. We're going to go ahead and connect our power wire. And we're going to connect our antenna. All this is done here. I'm going to go ahead and button all this up and put all my screws back in and everything. Then I'm going to go ahead and ground my radio, shore up all my wires and give it a test fire. All right, now I just need to find out where I want to mount my microphone. So I don't want to mount it up here because I am going to be having some switches right here, but maybe somewhere in here, I think like right here would be a good idea. Now there's not a whole lot of GMRS activity in my area, so I'm not able to test it right now. We're going to go ahead and install the one in the Wrangler and then test them out. So I've been way overthinking where to mount this radio. I thought about trying to mount it up here with these somehow getting rid of my scanner altogether, getting rid of my CB. But what I think I'm gonna do is just mount it right to the dash. <clears throat> now the TJs have this nice little pocket right here. I'm just gonna kind of set this in the middle and screw it down right there. Now, my screws might go into these vents. I'm not too worried about it, but there's no electronics that run over the top of this that you gotta worry about. So this one's gonna be a lot easier to route just because everything's kind of open. I'm also not as worried about trying to keep it all hidden and clean and it's just gonna run and that's the way it's gonna be however it lies. So because this radio here requires so much more power, it's recommended that you run it all the way to the battery. You don't wanna tie into any wiring underneath the dash or anything. But I have some eight gauge wire that runs to a power block down here and that's where I'm gonna tie it in. It is fused, it's fused and over fused. There's a fuse on the line here, as well as the wiring that they give you. There is a fuse on both the positive side and the negative side. So it's fused and over fused. So what I'm gonna do with my wiring is just run it all the way across the dash here at the base of the windshield and then straight down. And that's where I'm gonna be running my antenna wire as well. So my plan is to run my wire up and across the rail here. And this is gonna be my temporary antenna mount. What? I ordered an antenna mount and it is back ordered and won't be here for a while. Yeah. But it's gonna be one of those that mounts here behind the tail light. And I think that that'll work out okay. So now it's time to hook up our mic, turn it on, and see what happens. I really like this little dust cover it's got right here. Now, I haven't decided if I'm going to mount my mic here or over here. I think I'll just mount it right here. It's going to be my new go-to. And I'll mount my CB1 over here. All right, so overall, I really like the radio so far but it's getting a little late today, so we're gonna have to test them out tomorrow. You hearing me okay out there, babe? I've been clear. 10-4, that is awesome. So, I've never used GMRS radios before, and I am extremely impressed at how well these work. Uh, we got out to around 10 miles, and when I could hear her clearly, it just put a big smile on my face and kind of made me giggle a little bit. I've never experienced that good a radio communication. Now, at that 10 mile range, we were on flat ground with some rolling hills. And if we were in the mountains or something, I'm sure that range was shortened. As well as if we were both really high up and it was empty between, it would be a really far range. But overall, these are extremely impressive. If you're interested in either one of these radios, you can check out the links in the description down below. 
as well as anything else that I've used in this video. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. This is where you give a thumbs up. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And as always, don't forget to subscribe. Can you hear me all right up there, babe? Loud and clear. How about we leave here and head to Ramon? Ooh, that sounds good. Over. You ready to get them tacos? I'm ready for some tacos. Tacos! And then we stopped at my favorite restaurant in the whole world, Ramon.